Welcome again to another reading from the book, The Faith I Live By, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled, Testing Our Metal, November 7th. My heart can sing when I pause to remember a heartache here is but a stepping stone along a trail that's winding their ways upward this troubled world is not my final home but until then my heart will go singing until Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you, but rejoice inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that, when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. 1 Peter 4 verses 12 and 13 the followers of Christ know little of the plots which Satan and his hosts are forming against them. But he who sitteth in the heavens will overrule all these devices for the accomplishment of his deep designs. The Lord permits his people to be subjected to the fiery ordeal of temptation, not because he takes pleasure in their distress and affliction, but because this process is essential to their final victory. By God's mighty cleaver of truth, we have been taken from the quarry of the world and brought into the workshop of the Lord to be prepared for a place in his temple. In this work, the hammer and chisel must act their part, and then comes the polishing. Rebel not against this process of grace. You may be a rough stone on which much work must be done before you are prepared for the place God designs you to fill. You need not be surprised if with the hammer and the chisel of trial God cuts away your defects of character. He alone can accomplish this work and be assured that he will not strike one useless blow. God has shown me that he gave his people a bitter cup to drink to purify and cleanse them. This bitter cup can be sweetened by patience, endurance, and prayer, and it will have its designed effect upon the hearts of those who thus receive it and God will be honored and glorified. It is no small thing to be a Christian and to be owned and approved of God. His grace is sufficient for all our trials, and although they are greater than ever before, yet if we trust wholly in God, we can overcome every temptation and through His grace come off victorious. We must have on the whole armor of God and be ready at any moment for a conflict with the powers of darkness. Thank you for listening today. I trust that you have received the message God had in store for you. God's peace be upon you. Maranatha.